seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then there's ghosts from STC. How could I what forget? Get when no, 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 no. I am an I am a SDC stan. I love ghosts. Ghost 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 every single no, cipher. I think show them camp as a whole. They're really, really good. But they're underrated, have you? Very. Nigerians, no, I don't know whether we don't appreciate intelligence. I should not be saying this shit about. I don't think we're really there with hip hop. Hi, sweetie. Oh, you look so pretty. So do you, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, how's it going? Good, good, good. Hey, can I have a chocolate martini? I was gonna say, what would you like to drink? But jump in there. <laughs> chocolate uh, yeah, martini. I've been looking at that, you can have anything you want in this life. <laughs> Thank you. Sit down, oh sit down. Oh my gosh. Down. So tools, I have gist. I was gonna hit with my gist, but you go first. Okay, so this couple, Remy and Bolanli, right? They've been married for, married for about three, four years. Um, for a long time, she didn't know he, how much money he had or whatever, yeah. but she knew that he was hiding something from her. Yeah. So the rent kept going up year after year. Yeah. And he was trying to figure out how, like how the landlord kept increasing the rent. So he was trying to speak, he kept speaking to the agent, trying to get to the landlord. And yeah. be like, oh, the landlord yeah, is busy. They, yeah, the agents do block. I know exactly. that, I need to do that. So like the landlord is busy, landlord is busy. And then, he now did some research mm. as to where the money for the rent was going to, only to find out that his wife's account is where the rent had been going. I, I, wait, I don't understand. So she did all that just to get extra money from her husband. So she connived with the agent. Exact them up. <gasps> Do you know the crazy, I've actually heard something like that before. I've heard somebody was, um, she did this with her kids' school fees. So she was basic, she would say to the husband, okay, the school fees is, oh, it's like, I don't know, 600K this, this term or this year. So he'd pay it. And she had a deal with like the administrator of the school. <laughs> so maybe the fees were actually 400K and she would collect 200 and Jesus she would give Christ. them like a cut and stuff. But why go so extreme? Like people are hiding I don't, I don't money know. from each other. But you know, one of the biggest issues with relationships, one of the biggest things is money. And it's really like maybe not enough money. So sometimes I know people that fight over. I know people that fight over money. I know people that have actually split up over money. Man and wife. Yes, money is a serious issue. Uh, money is a very, very serious issue. I know people that have split up over that. Do you believe hey, that? Hey, hi, Sophie. Hi. How are you? How are you doing? Yeah, I love your hair. Thank you so much. Hi. Hi. How are you? What's up? How are you? Doing? How are you? Thank you. Probably Ghanaian. <laughs> really? <laughs> we're, go we're not going to start the. I like Ghana. Actually, I really like Ghana. I want to go. I want to go back there very soon. Yeah, uh, hurry. I I'm haven't been, to... so I really, really want to go. Okay. Juliet, don't sleep so, on that. Invite us. Girl's let's go. Trip. Exactly. A trip. Yes, a yes, yes. Trip. A girl's trip. But she was just saying to me, we're talking about money. Um, yeah, so we're talking about money and relationships. Okay. Like when it comes down to it, whose money, whose money is it? So when you have, when you have the husband, his salary, when you have the wife, her salary, is it something that should be just split equally? God forbid. Uh, <laughs> You're not even trying to convince your... So, but she thinks, I, I, you think that the husband should handle all the bills? Yes. And the wife's money is just for her? Of course. My money is, you know, so that you, as you're spoiling me and doing nice things for me. A chocolate martini for our Cheers. Cheers. Okay. All right. Surprise me. All right. That's fine. Thank you. Yes. Chocolate martini for our Ghanaian chocolates. He wants to surprise me, so that's fine. So, do you agree with her? Do you think that. I don't think so. I think that's one problem we have nowadays. When mm. people are very secretive in relationships. Mm -hmm. So if you're not sharing your, your money or yeah. knowing uh, how much income somebody is making and mm -hmm. you don't want to be that open, then mm. it's a problem. Because that's when you find people having extra affairs, doing different stuff, mm. money is going somewhere, buying expensive you know things for the other people in their lives and yeah. stuff. So I think it's better to know if yeah. you have a joint account, if possible. Ah, but you know, you know, okay, I was you with you. Like, I was with you too. I don't oh, know yeah. about... No, no, so but do you know why? Account. Do you want to hear the rationale behind? <laughs> okay, <laughs> go I ahead. Do. I think that when a man is busy making money, when you're keeping him busy, knowing that he has to provide these school fees, pampers, diapers, shopping spree, trips, etc., he will not have time or extra cash to go and be chasing girls. Are you Excuse sure? Excuse me. Excuse me. I beg to differ. No, no, no. And isn't Nigeri that Nigerian Nigeri Nigeri guys can work. 
work like 60 hours yes, a week yes, yes. and they will still find time for yes. their little kid but on the side. But if you do find time to cheat and do all mm-hmm. the other extracurricular mm-hmm. activities mm-hmm. you you know deem fit for yourself, the day you think of leaving me, you will remember how much you've spent and say, let's I invested in this no, girl, honestly, man. No, no, I don't think so. It doesn't really work. That That's your, you know, mindset or that's how you feel, mm-hmm. you know, is right. But then I think it's wrong because doing that, he will also feel that you are like his property, basically. Mm-hmm. Like nope. I'm investing in her, I'm doing everything for her. So, like she's, I said, she's my property. I think, I think what a lot of guys out there, if they're paying for the everything, he's paying. if they're paying for everything, there's no you, value for He you. will feel like, okay, you are kind of my property. He I is. think in this day and age, a lot of guys actually don't want to, a lot of guys that I know mm-hmm. that I've spoken to, when it comes mm-hmm. to like marriage and everything, they don't want to be with somebody that isn't going to contribute, is it, isn't going to bring something to the table. You know, they want somebody that's going to, mm-hmm. you know, help out with bills and everything. Yeah. I guess unless he's like super, super loaded. So but, you have a fair point. Mm-hmm. Even if you're working, mm-hmm. I still think that you shouldn't be paying. Standardly, I know <laughs> that. I know you that can you share. cannot. She cannot marry a, a broke guy. She cannot. <laughs> I've I been, get married. I've been cheated on in the past by a broke guy, and I've decided. Wait, you were cheated? cheated. Well, we all have. Wait, wait, what does it you mean that you were cheated on by a broke guy? Mm. <sighs> so he cheated Is on you with a rich woman or what? No, don't worry. Is that mine? This is yours, and it's called hmm. La Nuit de l'Amour. La Nuit de l'Amour. La Nuit de l'Amour. Oh my God, merci beaucoup. You speak French. Do you speak French, Mr. Barman? Cheers. Cheers. So oh, interesting. Yes. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers to money. Yeah. Sorry. Cheers to money. money. My money. My, my money. money. My, my money. money. So what do you think, Julia? Do you think do you think that when it comes down to when it comes to like marriages, relationships or whatever, serious relationships, mm-hmm. of course, do you think that it's a man's responsibility to handle all the bills? I don't think so. I, I don't think so. I still believe that as a woman, for me, I'm a very independent woman. So I like to do my own thing. I don't want any guy to feel like I'm relying on him for exactly. survival or anything. So exactly. that's why I really don't agree with the whole idea or that mm. whole concept. I need you to know that, listen, without you, I'm still okay. I'm, I, I'm still I'm me. I'm fine, yeah. You know, you I'm know, an independent it. woman. Yeah. I still disagree. I can buy myself whatever I want. I can go to any shop, buy whatever she's I like, want. I she's like, she's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that she should work and have her own. So mine is mine, mm-hmm. yours is ours. And but you know, like in, like in church, for instance, they always preach against that. Like you need to share. Yeah. Like I said, joint okay. accounts and stuff needs to be see, there. I see. But you don't like Julia, to Julia, every time like, you say, <laughs> every time you say joint account, I'm just that like, so I don't know. Like what? See, it's, 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 it's even good for two, you as no. a woman. On two levels, okay. because now mm-hmm. let's just say you end up with a, a very unscrupulous person. You guys, yes. you know, have a fight, and he now clears all that money in your he joint account because it's joint signatory. So it's it's not it's not really like that. For a joint account, you need uh, both signatories. That's that's how it works. The bank needs to call you to get your consent before they can even release money to anybody. Let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. So you get married mm-hmm. and obviously I imagine you have stuff that you've invested in. Mm-hmm. Will you declare all of this to your husband? Um, Maybe you have yes. like some properties, everything, you declare everything. Yes, I will. I will do that. But Would just you? if he's I don't even need to ask her. Look at her eyes. Not, She's sure. like, hell no. <laughs> but that is a big issue because when divorce comes in, it's crazy. You'd be like, what, what are you going to say? Oh, I it's lied about that crazy. property. Oh, no, I was just joking. Oh, my God. It's crazy. I don't even, I don't even want to go down that road. But it's So you crazy. declare everything? I will because I, I think if I know who I'm actually going down that road with, I will mm. declare everything. People it's change. About, it's about uh, people change, yes. But, you know, you have to know the person you're with. That's basically it. And that joint account doesn't mean that every single mm. income you make yeah, goes we'll go into, into that, that account. That account is building the two of you together, your future. And like I'm saying, um, you know, what I was saying is the lady, you, you also benefit because if there's anything tomorrow, mm. most of that money No, you, you. you as a guy, you have to declare everything to me. Exactly. Yeah. Every five, five years, I'll declare That's something new. Now. Like this one. <laughs> By the way, have to be at. <laughs> and oh, after another five years, oh, you know that place that we passed the banana island. I got it's it. Mine. <laughs> so, but I don't know. I don't, that makes me because when I first got married, before I got married, mm-hmm. actually, when I got engaged, I was getting a lot of advice. You get a lot of advice, warranted, unwarranted. You just get lo- lots and lots mm-hmm. of advice. 
And I kept, um, I got a lot of people saying to me, you need to ha- make sure you have your own stuff. You need to make sure you have your own, you know, business and yeah. something that your husband doesn't know about. And I'm just like, why? why? We're supposed to be together in love, everything together. And yeah, they were like, no, you need to make sure you have your own, yeah. you know, yeah. stuff, something that he doesn't know about mm-hmm. your properties. And one of my good friends as well, her father gave her a property and he put it in her maiden name, not her married mm-hmm. name. Exactly. And he goes, this yeah. is for no, you. No, understand. He says, this is for you. This is This has nothing to do with your husband. This yeah. is for you. Mm-hmm. And, th- and that's it. And I was just thinking, well, what is he trying to say? Does he think they're not going to make it? And so on and so forth. But no. I think because you hear so many horror stories, I think yes. that that's probably what makes people a bit uncomfortable mm-hmm. about sharing money. Because if now we decided to do the joint account and I'm like, no, I trust you, babe. Just let me know everything that you want to, you know, charge this account. We don't need to ha- have joint signatories or whatever. No, you need to. And Say That's this guy must. now, the a devil or whatever. He just imagine a Ferrari or sorry. something. <laughs> or he <laughs> spends it on money. somebody else. Yes. You'll be so sorry. I will go to jail. Because I, because I will break his legs. I'll I probably go to jail. I know. I know that's wrong. That's why you need to have the joint. And it happens. And it happens, account. unfortunately. It happens. People, it happens people go lot. through that. Yeah, people go through that. But you see, we, we overthink things too much. Mm. Sometimes, you know, we just have to live. We've all had our experiences, like bad experiences. If I want to live based on what I've experienced in my past, you know, I'm divorced. So if I want to start living on things I've gone through, I won't be able to give another guy a chance in my mm. life. So I tend to see that, okay, that was how he was, how it happened. But it doesn't mean everybody's like that. It doesn't mean everybody's like that. Did, did you so, have money? Did you have money issues? Was there money we issues? We never where? had any joint accounts or anything like that. It was just what he says. I will believe whatever I say he believes. Because I was very young. I, I got married at age 23. Oh. Like, so certain things you don't know, mm. you know, it's, so now I know better. Like of there course. were things we could have done and things we couldn't have done and stuff like that. But that's why I say people shouldn't just, you know, judge or, you know, listen to what people say. Yes, you can have your own things. Mm. You don't have to always put every single thing in, in both names. But when you're married, whatever you get from that point becomes for the two of you. But you know, I do agree with you. I actually do personally feel that the man should definitely handle most of the bills. I feel that most of the guys I know, they they do they do feel that that is their responsibility. Yeah. Exactly. Now, I also do believe that it's important that the woman also chips Works, in. Works. Yeah. There's no. I like. I cannot advise a woman to like not work, not handle anything. I think you have to. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine like not even saying, okay, let me handle this, let me handle that. You know, you can it's take care of the big wild. things, but. Small, small things. She's like, no. <laughs> if he asks, babe, can you handle the electric? I don't have. I don't, I don't have this. There is no money. I don't I have it. No money on that. So both of you are for prenups. <laughs> yes, of course. What's like Kanye West line? Yeah. Something. Hello, we want prenup. We want prenup. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. need a hair because when she leave your ass, she gonna leave it. Yeah. 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 So easy. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is we play a game. Oh wow. Yes, yes, yes. Games. Are you familiar yes. with the Never Have I Ever game? Oh god. Hmm. Yeah? Yeah. <sighs> du, du, du. Okay, first one. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, Never on. have I ever walked in on my parents. Never. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> See what you did there? Are you okay? Do you need like an extra shot for that? <laughs> Were you okay? Did you? Yeah. yeah. How did you deal with it? Ugh. You beat your eyes? Ugh. I ran out, obviously. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Um, never, <laughs> never have I ever called someone the wrong name during sex. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't know why people call names. Oh, God, I thank you. I don't know why people call names at all. Thank you. Have fun. Fill, fill a drink. Fill a drink. Why do they call names though? Excuse me. Fill a drink. Let her drink. They were so similar. So no, why do you have to call names, baby or something? Baby. <laughs> and then what if I have a long, complicated <laughs> rumple still skin? Are you going to say rumple still skin? Oh, rumple oh still skin. Yes, rumple still skin. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Never have I ever made out with someone 10 years or more older than me. It's not me. Oh, that was a, that's such that a was, mean that question. 10 years. Even if older. I was there, I would not admit it. I need a shot. Yeah. Ah. 10 years uh-huh. older? 10 that years or more than older you? than you. Uh uh-uh. uh. That was not, that was not old. That's what, 35? 
Oh yeah, for you. Exactly. I mean, She's hiding cool. to take her shots, by the way. That's in the 50s, man. That's in the 50s. Oh, no. You should have been five years older than me or something. Are you thinking of